Johnny? Oliver, look at you. You look incredible. How long has it been? God, we've got so much catching up to do. Come on. I was uh, a museum guide in Paris, and then I worked at this clothing store in Singapore. You name it, I've done it. <laughs> it sounds incredible. Not as incredible as that haircut. Who gave that to you? Well, it's cool, huh? I did it myself. Your dad must have gone nuts. Yeah, he did. Actually, that's half the reason that I did it. What's the other half? Well, I guess it's both halves. How's he doing? Oh, he's fine. I mean, he's up every morning at five and down at the boat by six. Did you tell him that I'm back? No, um, I tried, but I couldn't. Does he still hate me? Do you? No. I, I mean, you're the only person that's ever understood me. Hey, if it makes you feel any better, your dad never understood me either. It's been seven years. So, Billy, are you gonna tell me what's bothering you or not? What's the point? You can't do anything about it anyway, right? Well, thanks for the confidence. All right. I think Peeler's back and I'll in the band. <laughs> he hasn't told you that? No. He didn't tell me he's going to San Francisco either. Billy. People take trips every day. I mean, maybe Peeler had an urge to ride a cable car or something. Really? Yeah, maybe. Or maybe scouting at other bands. So what are you gonna tell the group? I don't know. I'll take care of it, okay? Come on. Yeah. All right, Billy, we can't wait another second. Another second for what? For Peter's response, man. Yeah, come on, Billy. We've been waiting here for at least 30 minutes. We've been standing here like statues. Everything's cool. I talked to him this morning. Yeah, and? And he's gonna try and make it back to town next week. Hopefully, we can work this thing out. <laughs> big time, here I come, huh? You mean, big time, here we come. Oh, is he coming? I thought we decided that Atlas wasn't coming. <laughs> I don't believe it. You know, I thought because he was waiting so long, he had cold feet. Nothing about catwalk is cold, remember that. What? What's going on? Do we close the deal with Peeler? Looks like it'll be by next week. Amazing, cool, man, nice job. This is my mom, everyone, Rita. Nice to meet you, Bill. That's uh, Jesse Carlson, Sierra, you, of course, remember Mary and Daisy. Oh, you girls turned out to be so beautiful. <laughs> And that's Atlas. I remember he stole my hubcaps. Yeah, I was just 11. Hey, they were really nice hubcaps. <laughs> so how long are you here? I don't know. But listen, this isn't my moment. It's yours. Come on, I want to hear you guys play. Well, how about it, boys and squids? Ready? And I thought about what you said, you know, about saving some money, so I uh, held off buying that MIDI program. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. Do you want me to go pick up a couple sandwiches? Come on, lunch is on me. Why'd you lie to me? I didn't lie. I didn't buy the MIDI program. I don't give a damn about no MIDI. I want to know why you didn't tell me your mom was back in town. Her idea. No, I, I just didn't think there was a reason to tell you. 
She's my wife. She was, all right? But she's still my mother, and I don't want her to go away again because of you. So what do you think about a totally new wardrobe? Or incredibly expensive luggage. What for? Luggage, it's for your clothes when you travel. Where are you going? We're all going on the road. You know, when we play our concerts, we can't take our old junk. We need new stuff. Daisy, why do you think Johnny's mom came back? Well, I imagine it's because she wanted to see her son. I mean, what better reason does she need? Well, I don't know. Johnny's always been her son. But that she never called or wrote, it, it just seems weird. We're about to land this record deal, and, and then she pops up out of nowhere. I just think she owes Johnny an honest explanation. What did I say now? Nothing. You didn't say anything. Come on, Daisy. Don't hold back on me. What? No, it's silly. Forget it. Okay? Tell me. Okay. You're right. It's Johnny's mom coming back. I mean, it just made me realize that... Well, it made me realize that mine never can. So. You can't really blame your father for getting mad. We didn't tell him, and he was bound to find out it was back in town sooner or later, so... Did I tell you I spent seven months in Brazil? I met family I didn't even know we had. It's the most romantic country. The land's romantic, the people are romantic, and the music is just... <sighs> Kate, don't rub it in. <laughs> oh, come on. Your band's gonna take you all over the world. You'll see everything, everywhere. Yeah, maybe. I just get scared. Of what? Uh, of this record deal falling apart. Uh, I mean, what if the band doesn't make it? You know, and I spend all this time going for it, and then I never get to see anything else. Well, I thought your father was the pessimist. Yeah, well, like I said, it's genetic. Listen, you've got half my genes, too, and I say you're gonna get everything you want. Just wait for your time to come. Yeah, but, I mean, when does this time come? I mean, how do I know when it's here? You know, you just know. <laughs> Hi, Eddie. Rita. You look good. Where's the milk? What milk? Last time I saw you walk out the door, you said you're going to the market, get some milk. No, Eddie, I don't have the milk. Well, that's just as well, huh? I mean, seven years later, it probably gone bad. This isn't easy for me, either. I stopped worrying about what was and wasn't easy for you a long time ago. I deserve that, I guess. Well, don't guess. You do. So, what brings you to town? I came to see my little boy. Well, what do you think? I think you should be proud of him. Well, it's nice to know what you think. And now that you've seen him, leave. Can't we put the past behind us? No, I don't think so. It would just be easier for Johnny if we could get along. Would that be so hard? Did I tell you that my mom's been to Brazil? Yeah, about five or six times. You know what? She found family there that she didn't even know she had. I mean, this is my family living in South America. 
And then she took off and she spent two years in Europe. Sounds exciting. You look really excited, Mary. I'm sorry. It's just Daisy and I were talking. You, you can't talk to Daisy about this. Why not? Because this mom stuff freaks her out. Daisy can handle her mom dying. You've got to handle yours being alive. What? What are you talking about? Johnny, you deserve the truth. You deserve to know why your mom left and why she came back. Do you think I'm scared of asking? How about if you're nice to your dad? That means your mom was wrong for leaving you. She didn't leave me. She left him because he didn't understand her the same way that he refuses to understand me. Or you refuse to understand him. Mary, I don't need this, all right? John, your mom left both of you. It's not your dad's fault and it is certainly not yours. I just think you're keeping a lot inside. Get mad at her. Tell her how much she hurt you. Yeah, well, I think we're done here. Thanks. Keith? Not tonight, Billy. What do you mean? I mean, you haven't said a word all night. It's been a long day. Oh, I get it. You want me to tell the band about what's going on, right? And what do you think? I think I'm the manager, and if I tell them, they're gonna freak out. That's what you think? Yeah. Well, Billy, they're all out planning their lives. And it's a lie. I mean, all of it's a lie. And I think it stinks, okay? And then, your father told the doctor that if he didn't set your arm right away, he'd be setting two of his own. <laughs> do you remember? <laughs> Just what are you trying to do? Get along. I'm trying to get along. I'm not gonna sit here and take this. Dad, would you relax? No, I won't relax. What are we acting for? We're not acting, all right? We're just trying. Enjoy your dinner. Dad, just leave him alone. He'll be fine. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry about what happened tonight. It's not your fault. Your dad, he's never going to change. He's been like that since you were a baby. Hey, remember when he used to sing to you? <laughs> oh, are you crazy? It's freezing up here. Come on. Live a little. Yeah, okay, you're crazy, but do we have to do this now? I want to. Besides, I haven't been up on a roof in years. Oh. Do you remember that apartment on 7th? I remember. It's like when you were on that roof, like nothing else in the world mattered. For a little while, at least. Oh, man, I miss that roof. I miss that roof, too. Do you remember what we used to do? Yeah. I do. Oh. 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 
Well, that was some stunt you pulled last night. It wasn't a stunt. I mean, some families like to call it dinner. You should have told me what was going on. You couldn't even get along with her for half an hour. What do you want from me, huh? How about letting the past go? What, you mean just forget it even happened? No wonder she left you, man. I mean, what are you so scared of? I ought to ask you the same question. Oh, well, you want to know? Did you really want to know? I asked you, didn't I? I'm scared of you. I mean, I'm scared of becoming like you. What does that mean? It, it means that you woke up this morning, and you put your shoes on, and you came down to your little boat, and you went to work. Just like you did yesterday and the day before that, and you'll probably do for the rest of your life. Well, if it's what I do, why do you worry about it? Because I don't want to end up on some stinking boat with no escape. Well, that's why you play your music. You don't believe in either. You think when I was your age, this is how I wanted to end up, huh? You think I didn't want what your mom wanted? Well, I'll tell you something. It didn't turn out so bad, you know? I mean, it may be a stinking little boat, but it's my boat. And every day I got to go out on the water. That's where I escape. That's where I can get away. But unlike your mom, I come back. Every day I came back because of you. Because you needed to go to school. Because you needed clothes on your back. That's why I got this stinking little boat. Your mom gave you a lot of things, Johnny, but God damn it. Don't make it seem like I didn't give you nothing, okay? So now it's like this deal's never gonna happen. I mean, this idiot is playing with our minds. Well, if you never had it, you haven't lost anything. Are you crazy? I mean, this is my dream. This is all I've had for as long as I can remember. What's your dream, Johnny? My music? To get out of here, I mean... Yeah, but those are two different dreams. Why don't you come with me? What? I have to go. There's nothing here for me. Well, I'm here. Yeah, and you're unhappy. Let's go find out what you're looking for. Travel. Live the life you want to live. We could, uh, we could go to Brazil, see the rainforest. You should while you still can. What about the band? The group you're always complaining about. Break away. Start all over again. Well, do you want me to come, or are you just asking me? Johnny, people sit and wait all their lives for something to happen, and nothing changes. Make something happen. Come with me. Gonna talk again? What are we doing? I'm really tough, Johnny. Just seems lately you've been trying to avoid me. And I know I deserved it. I had no right coming down on you about your mom. Yeah, well, what are friends for? My friends aren't supposed to cause you more hurt. That's all right. I guess I've done my share of hurting people too lately. Well, I had to face it eventually. I mean, I've been blaming my dad for everything for so long. No, I used to figure it was even his fault if it rained. One of those my dad's fault, remember? <laughs> well, what can I blame him for? No, it's just you see these families on TV, you know, and, and they've got these problems, but they're solving like an hour. So that when your problems aren't solved so quickly, you kind of figure it's your fault. Because they figured theirs out. I mean, and then I look at you, and, and you've got this perfect family, right? So you've got no problems. You just don't look hard enough. I don't know. I mean, even with all the crap that I've put my dad through, you know, he's always kind of been there for me in his own way. Johnny, why are you telling me this instead of your dad? Are you coming with me? 
If I don't, will you stay here? No. I won't. I can't. That's bull if you ask me. The benefit of time is that it softens life's hard edges. Listen, this is not some damn song, all right? This is my life, and you're leaving again. Why do you keep running away from me? I'm not running from you. I'm running from me. Why? Come with me. You mean run with you? I can't. I have a family. I have a band. Johnny, I didn't leave because of you or, or your father. I left because of that boat in this neighborhood and this life. I mean, we've got one life and it has to end. And I didn't want to miss any of the things that might be waiting for me out there. So, have you found all those things that you've been looking for? No. I don't understand. Why do you have to leave again? Because it's what I do. It's all I know how to do. Mom's leaving again. Well, it's just a matter of time. Yeah, she explained a lot of things. Is that so? She said that she never left because of anything you did. So why take the blame? I mean, you never had to take the blame. You probably won't remember this. But you had a goldfish once. And it died. And you just couldn't get it. I mean, you didn't understand about death. So I told you that... That he went to the other aquarium to play with his other fish friends. Right. See, you were too young to understand why he left. Just like your mom. You loved her. All of a sudden, she's gone. But it just didn't seem fair not to let you remember her the way you wanted to remember her. Yeah, but she couldn't deal. I mean, you could have made me understand that. <laughs> There's no way you believe the truth. Besides, I guess... If you love somebody once... And I really did love your mom. Part of you will always love them. Do anything to protect them. Even if it meant building a wall between you and me? Easier than putting one up between you and her. I'm, uh, I'm not very good at goodbyes. You think I'd be great at them, considering what a pro I am at leaving places. easy on your dad, huh? How can two people who can't stand each other spend so much time defending each other? Because. Just because. Where are you going? I don't know. 
but I'll call you when I get there. Slow down, okay? Enjoy this time. 